Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elise Andrews and I make videos about art and maintaining a healthy creative practice while also having a full-time job not related to art or design. Um, and this is a, this video is kind of a long time coming. It's just a little bit of a video though. Um, I got really busy in September and October, but I did record a lot of clips. It's kind of like my last video I did. Um, I recorded a lot of clips from September and I just wanted to piece them together and have this here on my channel. It's just a reminder of what my month was like, what I was making, and I'll kind of update you on how my September was. And then up next is going to be a video about October where there's kind of a lot more stuff, a lot going on. Kind of what's been happening over the past month is work has been really busy and also I have been working on Peachtober. So the prompt list for Peachtober came out in September this year. So I did a ton of sketching over September and I had like all of my sketches prepared and then October hit and I guess you can wait till the October video to see how my Peachtober actually went. But um, overall, I just wanted to kind of catch you up on my life and what's been going on. So let's get into the clips. So kicking things off, um, I started work on all of the Peachtober prompts for this month, uh, or for the next month. Uh, this was just September. Uh, this was Tulip. It's the first prompt. Figured it's a good way to start out. Um, for this whole Peachtober experience, again, I'll talk more about it in my next video when I'm actually like executing the projects, but I found that I really enjoyed the drawing process of this a lot more than the painting process, of course, because that's kind of my thing that I focus on more is drawing, but this, the painting was also fun too. But um, yeah, I got all my sketches done ahead of time and that was really good for me for what I was able to accomplish. I guess I'll just spoil it now. I did not fully complete Peachtober in October, but I did make it through like two thirds of the prompts of like posting more or less on time every single day. It just was really challenging for me for a variety of reasons, again, in the next video. But here's one that I really loved. It was of some frogs, and that's my friend's cat. But the one of the frogs, oh, I'll get back to that in a minute. This is just a funny clip I thought it'd include of me trying to get my posing right for um, some of the clips. Uh, I like to take videos and then take stills from it to get everything figured out. And here's some clips of Lulu at the beach. That was another thing I did in September. I got to take a day off and go to South Padre, or not South Padre, North Padre, I guess, with my family. That was super, super nice. And then um, getting back to the time lapses of things, um, this is me tracing over a sketch that I did using my light box. Um, or I didn't do the sketch with my light box, but I'm tracing over using the light box. And that's just a really useful tool for me to get nice, clean lines. And then now you can see I'm working on some clouds. That was, I think, day three of the prompts. I really loved how this one turned out. Um, I learned so much about using ink throughout this process. That was kind of my goal was to limit myself to only using ink and color pencils on top of it as well. Just because I had a whole little tray, I guess, of the Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay India ink, these colored inks I have in front of me. and. I hadn't really used them that much. I hadn't felt comfortable with them. So I was like, well, might as well. This is the best time to just, you know, do something several days in a row and figure out how to use the inks. So uh, I really enjoyed the process of that. Am I a little sick of using ink now? Yes. And so um, I think they turned out pretty neat. I also hadn't done clouds or hadn't painted drawn clouds with much, I guess, intention before. So I'm glad that I got to use this time to focus on drawing some clouds. Uh, definitely much more challenging than they may appear to be just because they're not really solid forms, I guess, but they are. And in your brain kind of, or just from me like having more of that, I don't wanna say cartoony, but um, maybe more illustrative background instead of like rendering things exactly precisely. Uh, I'm more inclined to do like the cloud shape that you see uh, in cartoons and other like line drawings. So it was an interesting way to practice ink and also clouds. This next clip is of me working on the line art for hand, which was another one of the early prompts. I learned from this process also that I really don't enjoy doing, or it doesn't work well for me <laughs> to do line art on something first and then like using ink and then by ink, I mean like, you know, like a black liner pen anyway, and then going in and adding the inks to it. It's just like, like the color over it. It's like coloring it in like a coloring book. And that 
process was just not very good or fun for me for some reason. That's just kind of what I learned. Um, here's Lulu. <laughs> But that was a really important step in this whole um, understanding inks, how I like to do my process. So that was good. Yeah, just a lot of Lulu clips, a lot of fun, <laughs> fun stuff this month. Overall, September was pretty busy um, with work, as I've mentioned. So it was October, but it was nice to kind of get back into doing a lot of drawing and having more of a purpose with my drawings. Um, that's something that I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do after this month um, or after October and moving into November because I just don't know um, what I wanna be making. I think I definitely wanna go back to like Google Earth art that I've been doing, um, drawing more plants. I love using gouache. I missed gouache a lot during this month. Um, but I also, from doing these drawings, of course, I came up with some, or I, I discovered things that I really enjoy doing. So for example, I don't know if you'll get to see some of this in this video, but I did a lot of still lives because that was something I went into Peachtober knowing I really like to do still lives. That's one of my favorite things. I like drawing from life. I think it's really important. Painting from life is really fun as well. And so um, that was something that I practiced a lot and I will bring with me after this month. Um, and then what else did I do uh, that I really enjoyed? There were some like ideas for more cartoony, again, <laughs> illustrative um, kind of designs or things that I worked on that I like the concept behind it, just the execution wasn't the best. So I'd like to return to some of those things moving forward. Something I feel like I didn't quite figure out by the end of the month was the using colored pencil on top of ink. That is a technique that Furry Little Peach, the creator of Peach Tober, um, really used a lot or uses a lot in her work. I just haven't really figured it out yet. But anyway, in terms of, I guess, like life things this month, I guess we can jump into that. Let's see, I have a little list written out here. Um, I started figure drawing classes as well, which is a really exciting thing. Um, I'll show more of clips of that in the next month, but I, there's a local art school near me that I was able to take classes at and it's been really helpful in developing skills. That's kind of something I want to continue to do is develop my skills while I'm also working on these other projects that I do for fun, but I just, I don't want to ever stop learning and I really miss art school a lot, I'm finding, um, even though these classes are so long and they take a chunk out of my time and it makes work sometimes harder the next day because I'm spending so much time on it, but it is definitely worth it in the end for what I'm able to make and what I'm able to learn, so I'm really thankful for that. Um, also, I went home on the weekends a lot, so I didn't have time to do as much art, but because I was in the sketching phase of Peachtober, I was actually able to get some work done when I was traveling. Um, also, uh, I, again, I won't show you any of this, it just says updates on my life. Um, ser the series of health issues that I've been going through over the past few months that began, or past few months that's, that began in September, um, I, well, I just, I react weird to mosquito bites. And then I stepped in an ant pile, I guess, uh, when it was really early outside and really dark and I got bit by a bunch of ants and that hurt a lot and I swell up whenever I get ant bites. So anyway, um, that's my own little personal health fun time stuff. And then um, Lulu, my dog, as you've seen in this video that I love dearly, she, um, she can be out of her kennel now, which is really exciting because she, uh, I don't know, I just was really hesitant about letting her just be out and about because she's a puppy, um, but I'm really proud of her for how far she has come. And so, yeah, we've just been going to the dog park a lot, having fun, um, but she's a great dog. So anyway, I think I'm kind of wrapping this video up. Sorry, it was a bit of a shorter one, but uh, next month should be pretty fun. I guess the October video, I'm gonna try and get more videos up, try and just film more clips, put a video together kind of like this and get it out there. So um, thank you so much again for watching this video, checking in on my September, my, I know this is like old, but um, if you enjoyed it, let me know, leave a like on this video. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you later. Bye.